it's Kitty and welcome back to another video. If you're just joining me now, I'm 13 years old and this is my channel. So I'd love it if you could go and subscribe down below and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Today I'm doing a sort of beginners makeup starter kit. So affordable products for beginners, people who are just getting into makeup or need some guidance on what sort of products they need to use. Then I've got some here which I think would help beginners. So yeah, I really hope if you're a beginner this video helps you and also in this video I want to point out that all of these products are drugstore and a lot of beginners as they see um, lots of their favourite YouTubers and Instagrammers, they all use high-end products which high-end products are really good and great but so are drugstore products, like people underestimate drugstore products so much but you can get the exact same effect so don't go and waste your money you know straight away when you're a beginner just it's worth starting out of drugstore makeup and progressing as you know you want to so without further ado let's just get into the video okay so if you're a beginner and you're not really sure what you're doing at all the first step is i'd say to moisturize or prime so I like to moisturise because I have quite dry skin in places and my skin can also be quite oily. So this moisturiser is oil free and I just find this is really good. It moisturises and it also prevents spots and blemishes. This is by Clean and Clear and yeah I'll have all the prices up here. So I think this is a really good product. You just want to start off by putting a bit of this on your face and just rubbing it in. If you're a beginner... I wouldn't say you want to go straight in with foundation just because it's quite a like big step so I'd say either start with a CC cream or a BB cream and they're sort of a they're almost like a skincare product but they're not very sort of they blend in and they're part of your skin but they give a little bit of coverage and a glow so I have the Stila CC colour correcting cream and this this is a really weird concept so I'll just show you quick it comes comes out green and then as you blend it in it changes to your colour but yeah this was I'll make sure I'll find the price of this I think I got this in the sale so it I got a really good discount on this but CC or BB creams I know um, Maybelline do these Rimmel you can get some really really good ones and it's just match your shade so what you want to do is you just want to take a little bit of the product you want to put it onto your neck and just see how it blends in if it blends in perfectly or it's a bit dark or a bit light then you sort of know which shade if you want to go up one or down one to try and find your perfect shade and if you're trying to match your shade it's best bringing a friend along with you so they can help you know help you match so i would definitely recommend a cc or bb cream for beginners and a really really good drugstore concealer for beginners is the collection Last Imperfection Concealer. Now this is really, really affordable. I believe this is something like £4 around about that, but I'll put the price up there. Um, I've got mine in the shade too, but I think there's, there's quite a few shades. And you just, you know, choose your shade again, like I said. But for the price, this is really, really high coverage and long lasting. And I would recommend this so much to anyone. So I would really recommend this as a beginner. Next you want to powder your skin, so once you've put your liquidy products on, like your CC or BB cream and then your concealer, you need to set it all in place so it doesn't smudge or move. So you want to do that with a powder and I've got the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder and mine is in 00 transparent. I don't think this is going to focus very well but it's just the powder, I've used it quite a lot so I've hit the pan and this is by Rimmel and the price will be up here but this is so so affordable and this is like amazing, it just sets my face in place all day and I love it, I've had this makeup on it is now 8 o'clock and I've had it on 8 o'clock at night, I've had it on since 8 o'clock this morning so 12 hours and this has kept my face matte so I would totally recommend this and you just want to pat this in all over your face with a brush and just put it under your eyes. Just put it everywhere. Where you... So another thing for beginners is bronzer slash sort of contour. And this is the Collection Contour Kit Highlight and Sculpt. 
it comes with a highlighter and a bronzer this bronzer is quite dark well it looks quite dark but once you put it on a brush it doesn't come out that like that and this highlighter is so so nice so i'll just do a quick swatchy watch so here i don't i don't think you can see the highlighter because it's not very good light but it's just that it's, this highlighter looks so pretty on the face but unfortunately it's not showing up great on camera. And you've got your bronzer here. Also if you'd like to see an in-depth tutorial on how to use all of these products so applying them. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. So I'd show you how to like put them on your face and that. So then you want to use something. Well you don't have to but I like to use something called um, blush blusher. And this is the W7 Candy Blush and this is really affordable. And I have mine's in the shade Gossip. I've used mine so much it's broken. But it's got a little mirror inside. And I stabbed my nail in it. I stabbed my nail in it there. But it's fine. And this just adds a little bit of pinkness. And like I feel like makes your face look more glowy. And just brightens you up and makes you look more healthy. Because once you've used quite a few like um skin coloured like you know once you've used these your face can often look quite flat because you've taken all like the redness out of your skin so doing contour can just sort of bronze up your face where the sun would naturally hit and then also blush just adds that little bit of redness and flushness back to your cheeks so our next product is the w7 queen of brows majestic brow mascara and this is just a brow gel and you run this through your brows for a beginner I wouldn't recommend going in straight away with a pomade or a pencil. It can often be quite like scary just like going in straight away. So if you're just a beginner, running some brow gel through your brows can just make a huge difference. It can shape them and it adds like colour and sometimes makes them look thicker. So I'd really recommend that. Next we have eyeshadow. For eyeshadow I would totally recommend Revolution palettes. They are so good for the price and like you can get a Revolution palette for £4 with like what 20 shades or something. I think it is so good. So the first Revolution palette is the Redemption palette Iconic Free. This has 12 shadows and it's a mixture of mattes and glitters. And this is a copy of the Urban Decay Naked free palette so it comes with a little spongy applicator but I probably wouldn't use that and then it comes with a variety of like starts light and goes to dark and you've got your shimmers and mattes in there and then another palette if you're feeling slightly more adventurous and you more on the creative side I would really really recommend the Revolution Soph palette this has 24 shades and I will just show you what the inside looks like I've used mine a lot so it's a little bit worse for wear it just looks like this. You get a huge mirror and you still have your matte and your glitters but there's some more peachy tones and sort of different tones if you just want to, you know, up your eyeshadow game and they are so easily to, they're so easy to blend so I really think they're great for beginners. Next you want to move on to mascara and for mascara I feel like any drugstore mascara you've got Maybelline collection, like Rimmel, there's tons of drugstore brands they all do great with Star Mascara's Revolution. So I feel like you just need to figure out what you want out of a mascara. Whether you want length or blackness or thickness. And you have to figure out what you want if your lashes are thin and you want them thick. Or if they're very short you want them longer. So try and find a mascara that matches the description of what you want. Um, one of my favourites is Maybelline Push Up Angel Mascara. And this just... This looks like this. And this adds a lot of length without the thickness because I don't want like thicker eyelashes I just want them to be darker and longer and it just looks like the wand looks like that it's a very skinny wand and as a beginner I would recommend a skinny wand just because it's easier to apply also um, I think the brand Essence do an amazing I think it's called their like princess mascara or something I'll insert a picture here and it is so so good and it's like really cheap so I would really recommend that if you can find the brand Essence anywhere I would recommend you buy that because it is meant to be really really good personally I've never tried it but I've seen so many great reviews on it so yeah and then next you probably want a tinted lip balm to finish off or you probably want like a nude lipstick or something nothing too out there got the maybelline cherry me lip balm and this is just in a dark pink shade and it looks quite dark but when you apply it it 
just adds a really nice tintness of pink and yeah then if you want more of like a proper lipstick I would recommend the Revol Revolution Soph X um, lipsticks these come in three shades and I've got the shade syrup shade syrup just looks like this and it's such a nice shade and it's a really nice nude so yeah it's just really nice so that's all the products for your face like makeup but when I also thought I chose some skincare products just to sort of give you an idea if you have no idea what you're doing what you can use so first of all I would usually take off my makeup with um, makeup wipes so I've got these ones from Wilco's they're 50p a packet and you get 25 wipes which is really good these are the skin therapy Wilco's wipes and this is just what they look like so wipes just rub it all over your face and you'll start to see it come off and also if you want to take that even further and get rid of any more makeup that might be left in your skin I would take a cotton pad and my Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water and I just put a little bit of this on a cotton pad and then use this to get off any excess makeup and this removes everything like everything this is so good so I'd recommend this because it helps to keep your skin clear and get off any makeup residues and then finally if you want a actual daily wash to wash on your face I would recommend the clean and clear gentle hydrating daily wash this is also oil free so it's not going to put any oil in your skin and make you break out and it prevents breakouts keeps your skin hydrated and it smells well the scent is rose water and honey and it sounds like a weird combination but oh my god this smells amazing so what you want to do is just wet your face with some water over the sink, put a little bit of this into your hands and just rub it all over your face and then rinse it off. And this is just so, so good and I would really recommend this. And then after that, to finish your skincare routine, I would just go in with the same moisturiser that we used at the beginning, just to keep our skin hydrated and yeah. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I really helped it hope to you. If you're beginning with makeup and you wanted a few ideas and tips, also, if you'd like to see me apply these products and so you know how to use them exactly, then please make sure you give this video a huge scrums up, <laughs> scrums up, a huge thumbs up and comment down below saying you'd like to see it. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye!